9.2 special right triangles. Isosceles right triangles, 45, 45, 90. A 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle is an isosceles, which is the two sides the same, isosceles right triangle that can be formed by cutting a square in half diagonally. So here's our square and each corner is 90 degrees. And when we cut it diagonally, each corner angle becomes 45 degrees each. These 45 degree angles means that these two are both 45 degrees. And let's say it's a, f a length of five on each side. A common misconception that students have is that they think that this diagonal length is also five but it's not. It does have a pattern though. Uh, when you are working with a square that's cut by a diagonal, there is a pattern for how long that diagonal length is in reference to how long the leg length is. So that's what we're going to discover and look at right now. How long is that hypotenuse? Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse in the following isosceles right triangles with the following side lengths, and we are going to simplify the radical. If you don't simplify the radical, then the pattern won't fall out. So we've got a leg length of one, a leg length of one. If we drew a picture, it would look like this. Leg length of one, a leg length of one, and we're looking for this hypotenuse length of h. So one squared plus one squared equals h squared. 1 plus 1 equals h squared, 2 equals h squared, and the opposite of a square is a square root. So h equals the square root of 2. Can't see the pattern yet. Let's continue on. Now let's look at a, a triangle that's got leg lengths of 2. So instead of leg lengths of 1, we're making those 2. So 2 squared plus 2 squared equals h squared. 4 plus 4 equals h squared, 8 equals h, h squared, square root. So h equals the square root of 8, but we're looking for a pattern between these two, so we're going to simplify the radical when it comes to the square root of 8. So if you recall that one of the easy ways to do it is to make a factor tree. 8 can break up into a 4 and a 2, and a 2 and a 2, so that's three twos. So we can rewrite the square root of 8 as 2 times 2 times 2. This pair of 2's, 2 times 2 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2 square roots of 2. So this one was the square root of 2. This hypotenuse is 2 square roots of 2. Let's try the next one. If one leg is 3, the second leg is 3. 3 squared plus 3 squared equals h squared. 9 plus 9 equals h squared. 9 plus 9 is 18 equals h squared square root. So h equals the square root of 18, but we're going to simplify that radical. Can simplify into a 9 and a 2 and a 3 and a 3. So then we've got the square root of 3 times 3 times 2. 3 times 3 is 9. The square root of 9 is a single 3 root 2. So now let's see if we can see a pattern forming. If leg lengths were 1, it was the square root of 2 for the hypotenuse. Leg lengths of 2, 2 square root of 2 for the hypotenuse. If the leg lengths were 3, then it was 3 square roots of 2 for the hypotenuse. So if you're starting to notice the pattern, if one leg is four, the second leg is also four, and the hypotenuse will be the leg length times the square root of two, four root two. If one leg is five, the second root leg is five, and the hypotenuse is five square root two. Now in the general case, if one leg is x, the second leg must also match x and x, and then in the general case, you take the leg length, x, times the square root of 2. So the pattern in words, if you want the hypotenuse, then you take the leg and you multiply 
by the square root of 2. So let's try these two examples. Find the value of x. Write your answer in simplest form. If this is 45 degrees, then this must also be 45 degrees because this pattern only applies to a 45-45 degree 90, 45-45 90 triangle. So if this leg length is 8, then that leg length must also be 8. And this hypotenuse must be 8 root 2, following the pattern. Of course, you could use the Pythagorean theorem to get that answer, but the pattern for the 45-90 will get you there much quicker. All right, let's take a look at this one. I know that these two legs are congruent, x and x, so that means this must be a 45, 45, 90 triangle. If this hypotenuse is 5 root 2, then each leg must be the length of 5. 5, 5, and 5 root 2. Now let's try some examples of ones that don't fall into the pattern. Consider what happens if the lengths don't fall into the 45, 45 degree pattern. So on this first one here, if this hypotenuse had been a 10 root 2, our life would be a little bit happier. But it is not, so we have to use our pattern in words to work backwards. So the pattern in words was the hypotenuse equals the leg times the square root of 2. The thing that we know right now is that the hypotenuse is 10. The legs are n and m, but this is going to be an isosceles right triangle, so they're going to be the same length. So I'm just going to choose one of the letters to represent one of the legs. I'm just going to choose n times the square root of 2. And this equation is going to help us solve for the length of the leg. So since this is times the square root of 2, we're going to divide both sides by the square root of 2. So now we've got n equals 10 divided by the square root of 2. But this is not polite, so what we do is we simplify this uh, fraction by multiplying by a fancy form of 1. And that fancy form of 1 is always chosen from the denominator. So the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 2. The reason we choose that is because the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4, which is 2. It comes out to be a nice number. So 10 times the square root of 2 is 10 square root 2. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is just a single 2. And then finally, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So n equals 5 root 2. And that means that m will also be 5 root 2. This is an isosceles right triangle, so 5 root 2 and 5 root 2. Similar pattern here, if we want the hypotenuse, we take the leg and multiply by root 2. The hypotenuse is 5 root 6. One of the legs, I'll just pick it, is n times the square root of 2. Divide both sides by the square root of 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 5 square root of 3. We did not need to simplify the fraction on this one as the 6 divided by 2 did turn into a 3. Let's try these last two. So these ones, we've got leg lengths. So I've got a leg and a missing leg and a missing hypotenuse on this one. So if this is the square root of 2, then this length must also be 2 square roots of 2 because this is isosceles. And then the pattern is the hypotenuse equals the leg times root 2. The hypotenuse letter is a U, the leg is 2 root 2, and then we have to multiply by another square root of 2. So U equals 2. The square roots of 2 go under the same hat, square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2, so 2 times 2, so finally U equals 4. Last one, they give us a leg length again. So if this is 4 root 2, then y must also be 4 root 2. They match. And then the pattern is the hypotenuse equals the leg times the square root of 2. The hypotenuse letter is an x. The leg length is 4 root 2 times another root 2. Those join together, square root of 4. A common error right here is that students say that that's 16, 
4 times 4 is 16, but don't forget to take the square root of 4, so that's 4 times 2, so then our hypotenuse is 8. Don't forget that this pattern only works for a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. Thank you.